the last week, one on one. Simone, what were the highlights with your chat with Gus Melzahn? Yeah, Brees, I sure did. You know, there are a lot of expectations on Coach Gus Melzahn because of that contract extension. Melzahn enters his sixth season as a head coach, ninth overall at Auburn, if you count his time as an offensive coordinator. And we spoke everything from the Iron Bowl rivalry, of course, and tonight's matchup against Washington. This offseason, you signed a new contract. Obviously, you're committing to your time here in Auburn. Does it add pressure or take away for you? I know there's always pressure as an SEC yeah. coach. Does it, does it make you more relaxed? You no, know, I just think more than anything, we got a stable program. And in this day and time in our league, there's not a whole lot of stability. And I think that's going to be a huge advantage for us moving forward. And as far as pressure, I put unbelievable pressure on myself no matter what I make, no matter what. And uh, But I think more than anything, it's stability. Mm -hmm. And that's really going to help us long term. Jarrett Stidham, you've been around a lot of great quarterbacks. Is he in that elite conversation? And if so, what could his pro career look like? Yeah, well, there's no doubt he's going to play at the next level. He's got all the, the tools and tangibles. Uh, what he did last year coming in with a new coordinator, new teammates, new offense, and you know, the newcomer of the year in our in our conference and you know he's got a better understanding of everything and he's in a good position to have a, a very good year and you know this is his team and uh, this is his moment and uh, I'm glad he's our quarterback. You've talked about this SEC media days and you've talked about it quite often but having your back-to-back -back rivals virtually in back-to-back -back weeks you play them either on the road or at home this year it's on the road how challenging is that you play one of the toughest schedules in all of college football yeah, I mean, it's challenging. I don't think anybody else has to do it, but that's the schedule we've been given. And like I said earlier, we, we know what it's like. And, uh, you know, you just got to gotta raise your level and you got to get it done. Do you give your guys a different message during this preseason looking at that, knowing yeah. that it's going to be a tough couple weeks? You know, I think, you know, at the very first of fall camp, you can see the big picture and you can kind of set the, the plan for the big picture. Then you got to flip the switch and you got to take it one game at a time. And so we've already flipped the switch and nothing else is on our mind but Washington. You know, we'll, we'll have our hands full with that group. I mean, they're a very good team, maybe one of the most complete teams in all of college football. And, and it'll be a good test of where we're at for this year. And, uh, but yeah, we're, we're one game at a time at the, you know, right now. You've made a name for yourself in college football. You've had the success that you've had at every level. But you're in a very unique position being at Auburn. You, you know, you're sharing a state and recruits and tons of things, fans, with a school right down the road, Alabama, that's a great program right now with Coach Saban. How challenging is that? Can you shed some light on what your life is like in that regard? That's just part of being at Auburn. I mean, uh, you know, there's, I, I like it. I mean, you know, I like uh, the fact they're in the state with us. I like the fact they're our rival. And uh, so you got to embrace it. Do you have a relationship with Nick Saban? It's professional. I mean, you know, he, he coaches for them. I coach for Auburn, and uh, you know, it's professional. You signed your contract extension. You're going to be in Auburn. You want to be in Auburn. Do you feel like your career in coaching could end on the plains? You know, I'd like I'd like to do that. There's no doubt. Uh, you know, I think we're in a point now where we have a chance to do something special the next two to three to four years. It's all set up. We got to do it. But uh, it's a real exciting time, you know, to be an Auburn Tiger. So a tough road ahead for Auburn at Alabama and at Georgia, but that's not for a few months. In just a few hours, the Tigers will have their hands full with the Huskies. Number six, Washington here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, a place that Auburn has not been great the last two times they've played. We will break down this matchup still ahead. Live at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Simone Eli. Guys, back to you.